Did you know? You can leverage the pre-existing Postman collections to make REST API calls to OCI services. I'm Saipriya from the Virtual Code Innovate team, and I'm here to walk you through the step-by-step -step process to help you get started. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure APIs are standard REST APIs that use HTTPS requests and responses. Postman makes it simple to test these APIs without writing any code. Whether you choose to use Postman in the browser or in the desktop app, it's a powerful tool for exploring and testing APIs. Make sure you sign up and log in to Postman. I'll be using the desktop version for this demonstration. Once logged in, search for Oracle REST APIs. You'll find a collection readily available for you. In this collection, I'll be testing the Identity and Access Management APIs. Forking creates a copy of the collection in your own workspace. For which, update the label, select your workspace, choose an environment and fork the collection. Next, update the OCI credentials in your Postman environment variables with your OCI credentials. To retrieve your credentials, log in to Oracle Cloud account. Go to the user profile in the top right corner and select your user email. This opens your profile. Under the resources, select API keys and create a new API key. Download both public and private keys to your local machine and save them securely. Open the downloaded OCI API key with a text editor and keep them handy. Once you click on the Add button, you'll see the user OCI ID, fingerprint, and so on. Then go back to Postman and update these details. You will now also copy the private key from your text editor and add in here. You have successfully updated the OCI credentials. Now, let's start testing the APIs. As a first step, we will test the list users API under the users folder. Here, it gives 200 OK response with a list of users and their details. Next, we will create a user using this API. Click on Create User Post Request. The authentication here is inherent from parent. We will then update the body with the user details. I'm going to update the username as demo user, email as demo at oracle.com, and hit the Send button. Looks like this API was successful. However, let's go back to OCI console and check. Let's go to Identity, select the root compartment, pick the default domain, and then select the users. The first user here is the demo user that we just created from Postman. Now that we tested IAM APIs, let's also try testing object storage APIs. Go back to OCI REST API collection and fork the object storage API collection. Update the fork label, workspace, and the environment with OCI credentials. Create a fork. Once the fork is established, we will expand the object storage collection and test the get namespace API. You will see the object storage namespace in the response section. Next, let's try to list the buckets in the compartment. For which, go back to the OCI console, select Identity, and under the Compartments section, pick the compartment. Copy the compartment OCI ID, and then you're going to use this compartment OCI ID in place of tenancy OCI ID, which is there by default. Also, Update the default namespace with the namespace of your tenancy. Hit the Send button. You'll see the list of buckets in the compartment under the Response section. However, let's try verifying that in the OCI console. Go back to Object Storage in OCI and select your compartment. The buckets listed are same as what is mentioned in the Postman response. As a final test, Let's try creating a bucket. Return to Postman and select Create Bucket Post Request. Update the namespace. Then, switch to the Body tab and update the bucket name. 
Since we are not creating any tags, remove any unwanted parameters from the JSON body. Now, go ahead and click the send button. You may receive an error message. The bucket name should contain only letters and numbers with no special characters. Let's remove the space from the bucket name and test it again. This time, the bucket is created successfully. Now, go back and refresh your console. You'll notice that the bucket has been created successfully.